We have continuing coverage tonight. A fiery meeting in Grand Rapids. Several homeowners are mad at the city. They are accusing the GR of wiping its hands clean of an issue they are stuck dealing with. Last night, we told you the city is claiming immunity following a water main break that flooded homes. Now they're taking their frustration to city leaders. Fox 17's Matt Whitko's hearing them out. At new tonight, the city is explaining its reasons and what comes next. Samantha, so the city manager met up with these people following the meeting to have a more intimate discussion behind closed doors. We were not part of those discussions. He did come out to talk to us and say what happened to these people is unfortunate. He adds that the city is doing what they can to make this right. Those pipes say the city of Grand Rapids. Those are your pipes that flooded our homes. Neighbor after neighbor. The city rejecting this claim is not only not only unbelievable, but it's it's unacceptable. All expressing their frustrations with the city. This is not right and you need to actually come and help us out because we didn't ask for this. More than two months ago, this was a scene as a water main break flooded their homes. The surge of water ran through our garage, our driveway, our front yard, our backyard, and most importantly to us, our finished basement, including our carpeted family room with television and stereo, and our guest bedroom where our children and grandchildren stay. Many living on Philadelphia Avenue are still recovering. Professional estimates of our damage equals over $25,000. It's gonna cost me 80 to $70,000 to put stabilizers on my house to stop it from sinking. Monday, the city of Grand Rapids denied their claims, citing a state law that provides immunity. My dear city of Grand Rapids, I wanna ask you, is your conscience? Immune. City manager Mark Washington adds this may be the end of the road for these homeowners claims, but not the end of the matter. I am certain we will do more than just sending a claim denial letter to help our residents. Washington adds the city could face litigation on the issue. And we've gone through the administrative claims process. The next process uh, would allow them to get some type of representation and see if we can come to some type of agreement. He says they're looking to connect people recovering from this flood with resources. There could be some uh, community assistance uh, from programs that already exist or creatively finding ways to help this neighborhood uh, recover. So yes, we are looking into that. Washington did express that the city wants to host meetings with the people impacted by this water main break. He didn't express what those dates would be. Reporting live here in Grand Rapids, I'm Matt Whitkos, Fox 17 News.